guys welcome to this new room of try hack me which is known as principal security and we'll be solving this room to get some outline about some of the fundamental principles of information security so let's get started so I'll be explaining you all the answers as well so let's start with the CI triangles and especially with the answers so I'll be going through quickly so confidentiality means that nobody will to see your private data availability means that someone has access to your private data and like you always should have access to your data and integrity means no one has made any change to your data so let's start with the questions only you can just re have a quick read on this data given here so what element of CI trad ensures that data cannot be altered by unauthorized people so that's integrity so integrity means that for example if you have a file so no one can change the information in that file that is integrity so CIA confidentiality integrity availability these are the three um, triangles or the three sides of the CIA triangle so I N T E G R I T I I N T E G R I T Y that's integrity now it's uh, of elements of CIA triangles ensures that data is available as from the name you might have guessed it, it's availability that means we need to make sure that you can access your data anytime you want and it's always available to you so that's availability it's like someone uh, put a restriction for example you are not able to access your data so availability has been breached okay so a v a i l then this a b l e l i a b a b i l i t y that's right so the next is which are the elements of CIA trying CIA okay so which element of CIA triad ensures that data is only accessible by authorized people that's confidentiality that means that only the people who are authorized to see it should be able to see it for example your password should not be known to everyone in this world Here's a password should be confidential so these are the three triangles next is privileges principal privileges so over here we have two different models one is PIM another is PAM so PIM let's fill it out PIM is privilege identity management next one is privileged access management which is PAM next if you want to manage your privileges a system access role had then what methodology will you use so as you can see over here PIM is used to translate a user's role within an organization into an access control system whereas PAM is management of privileges a system access role has so the answer for this is PAM as it says that uh, the privileges system access role has so I'll just tell you the differences PAM and PIM so the thing about PAM is that PAM will for example if you have confidential data then for example you have some secret file then PAM will be used for example who can access that secret file and like is there a 2FA or not and everything making everything is sure or not what PIM does is it protects the admin or the people who have superior privileges so that's PIM so if you have created a system role that is based on user's responsibility that means you are creating you are protecting the admin rather than the data like you can obviously protect data as well but your focus is on protecting the admin then then uh, since the focus is on users responsibility that is PIM both are sim basically similar there is no need to go that deep into it next is security models continue and then there is this okay let's do this okay then there is Bella Padula model see in this what happens is for example this is used in government and military so in military if there is a top secret for example how many nuclear missiles or something like that which someone has so what we cannot do is that we can share we that data should not be known to everyone so that data cannot be for a person for example let's see let the first let the first person be the head of the com of the military second person be the like the uh, team leader and let the third person be just a member of the army 
so just a member of the army should not know the very top secret that means the very head of the army that those secrets should not be known so that's why that person who is just, just a normal team member is not able to read up okay because sensitive data cannot be read up and the moon main focus on this uh, is like see no read write down no read up no read up means no member can read the upper person's responsibility that means a worker sorry not a worker a normal army person cannot uh, or even a worker for example if there is someone who's cleaning the army camps something that worker should not know the top secrets of the head of the army so cannot read up next is cannot write down as it says no write down no read up so write down no write down so no write down for example this is rare though and both of these methods i'm going to discuss are now being replaced and they are not being used anymore but they were used in the past now for example if you are a very high person and you know secret data or something like that then there might be one percent chance that you actually might mistakenly write it down to someone else's file and that person is a low privilege user so he's able to see some stuff so there is no write down just to prevent leak of data so this is like to keeping confidentiality this is the main focus of this model confidentiality that your data doesn't get leaked so no read up no one else other than the authorized highest authorized person is able to read no write down that means even though by mistake also you are not able to like reveal or write it on a person who has low privileges then next is biva model so biva model is based on integrity so see as you can see over here biva model is based on integrity biva model is no write up no read down okay so no write up no read down that means the person lower can read the person who's upper for example this is used in hospitals and all so uh, even in software development is also it's given see uh, see i'll just say like this that if you have a call center if you just kick or give a call center that sir uh, my database my recharge phone recharge is not working then that person should be having the access of who the person is and linking how much balance and all so that might be said as a high level database level but the lower person should also be able to access it so as to give a better proper like what is happening and all just like maybe in hospital you can say that the nurse nurse should be allowed to see what the doctor has wrote because she would have to like care, take care of that person in such a way so it's a biba model that says that um, no read down that means read up is okay and it says no write up that means no one can write up okay uh, when i say no write up it's like the uh, for example they have even given us nice example over here that where was it yeah for example a doctor would not be able to read the notes made by the nurse in a hospital in this model because there is no write no um, uh, read say for example i was saying there is no read down so if the uh, nurse is the downward level so the doctor will not be able to read her note because the rule is of no read down so this is basically to maintain integrity the upper one was uh, was at the aim of maintaining confidentiality so integrity is such that if the doctor for example i doctor wrote some medicine and someone changes the name of that medicine so that could be a very bad so the focus of this model was to maintain integrity that nothing gets changed so both of these models are old and these are like very nice uh, when they actually came out so what is the name of the model that can't read up so this see uh, biba model can read up and this is the model which can't read up so it's a bella padula model i don't know what kind of regex they are using i guess three and search me the bella paluda and so let's just check yep mm. can't read up can read down that's the first model can't read up can read down yeah that's bella padula how am i supposed to type it formatting the x model looks 
and the direction of the arrow mm, Kai's the answer is Bella Paluda I am sure about that I don't know what kind of formatting this is okay if you are a military okay see this is the now so it's sure only now we know what the answer is I guess the formatting is the X model okay 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 the answer is the X model okay so the Bella okay fine let's check if this works and yep that works the again for the first one also the Bella Paluda model nice and the uh, can't read up can't read down is the Biva model so the answer is the Biva model again track me as some weird rejects but it's quite good nothing bad the Biva model and if you are a software developer which security model would you use so again the Biva model because you can see the above code um, but you should not be able to make changes to it because the above code is quite should not be changed it has everything in it but you can read it because you need access to make services according to that high level sensitive stuff okay next is um, thread modeling and incident response so again you can read all of this thing just a quick thing over here that impact and urgency for example if uh, there is uh, if like the moon falls on the earth then the impact is high and the urgency if I say it's gonna happen in 10,000 years then the urgency is low so even the impact was high but the, it was the time was so long so it became three it became yellow not that important so just like it, that it's de determining on how how like how much is that thing important and all so s score ratings and all are be given depending upon that so which model outlines spoofing so there's something as tried model which has five things in it spoofing tampering reputation information disclosure deny of service elevation of privileges S T R I D E. You can see the first sentence, first letter of each of these. So that comes up as stride. So S T R I D E. Next is what the acronym IR stands for. So as you can see in stride, the IR stands for. No, it's not IR. It's yeah, okay. It's not in stride. It's incident response. IR is incident response. My bad. Then third is you are tasked with addition okay you are tasked with adding some additional measures to an application to improve the integrity of data what stride principle is this so we need to maintain the integrity that means that it should not be tampered tampered means that you are changing some content okay so basically it means that only so the answer is tampered next is an attacker has penetrated your organization security and stolen data then it is a task to return to the organization's visual as usual okay so first is preparation you are prepared you always prepare that some attack will happen identification is where you identify attack has happened containment is your it's like you are trying to contain that virus from spreading and all like it doesn't if you have like 1000 systems and it has spread to 20 systems then you will try disconnecting other systems and all so that the virus is only in those 22 20 systems next is eradication where you try to remove that virus third is recovery where you try to get the answer like we try to get the those 20 systems to work normally so that's in recovery wow we have done this thanks a lot guys and again if you want me to solve any track me room um, just give a thought in the comment section I'll make one for you apart from that if you feel like if I have not explained something that properly because I think for me it wasn't that quite something to explain over here but you can just type in the comment box and I'll explain that one thing or the two things whichever you want properly with a proper detailed diagram and explanation apart from that thank you guys like share and subscribe and I'll see you next time bye bye